Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. I've started the video again because apparently the sound wasn't good. So hopefully the sound is okay. I'll just wait and get a confirmation that everything is good to go. I don't want to start making all the projects and then you couldn't hear me the whole time. All right. Hopefully you can hear me. Okay, sound is good. All right, sorry about that, I don't know. I use the exact same setup every time, but technology. All right, so let's start again with the online exclusives. So these are not in the catalog. They're only available online and very popular. And I was just mentioning that the truck stamp set, although the punch is not currently available, the, the stamp set has so many different elements in it that you'll really get a lot of use out of it, whether you have the punch or not. But when the punch returns in October, you could get it. In the meantime, it's easy to fussy cut out the truck. And I was just showing you a couple of examples of cards I made last Friday. This one is using the daisy paper and then stamped images from the stamp set and the little truck and some flowers. And then this one was a fun fold that we did using the fishing paper, which is, you gotta grab a pack of that paper, it's so cool. And then again, the little truck with ridiculously large fish in the back of the truck. So we're gonna do this fun fold today, but using totally different paper. So trucking along, I would advise you to get it. And if you purchase items in July, when you spend $60 in Canada before tax and shipping, you'll get a coupon for $6 to use in August. So it's always good to get free things and they're cumulative. So if you spent $120, then you would get two coupons. And they send you the coupons via email. So today we're going to be using Timeless Arrangements. This is on low inventory because it's been very popular. It's been out for a little bit um, as it is in the new annual catalog and it was one that we were able to get uh, early. So I've used it for a lot of different cards. I don't even know if I have some of them here. There's one that I did. Your kindness means everything to me. It's just a really pretty set that you can layer and I love layering. So obviously I love this set. The other things we're going to be using today, artistically inked, just the little sentiment, best wishes on the second card, and scallop contours on the second card. So those are the products. And let's get started. This yellow card I've had on my desk to do in a Facebook Live for a long time and then I just end up using it, doing something else. So I have my card base. And what I've done is I've cut off one and three quarter inches. And then I've just folded it. So it's a fun little fun fold. Then I have a piece of Lemon Lolly, one of our new colors. And then this is the new um, designer series packs that we have for all the color families and the in colors. So this is Lemon Lolly as well. I'm not putting it down yet because I have to do something else first. I also at the bottom took um, a brush and then just added some Lemon Lolly to the bottom just because I felt it looked a bit too white for me. And then I have a whole bunch of the Timeless Arrangements dies pre-cut. You can also, there are some of the dies that you can stamp first and then die cut. So we have some of those as well. I like to just do a whole bunch of them and then figure out what I'm gonna do. So for this card, what I want to do is I want to tuck them behind this layer so that they're gonna hang out here. Okay, so now I'm deciding, do I want them on that layer or do I want them on this layer? Hmm. I think 
because we can't glue anything down until we decide. I think I like them behind this layer. So what that means is we're going to layer them up to the back of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, some glue here. And you have to put whichever ones you want in the front, you have to put first. Makes it a little tricky, but just start layering it up and then we can add things or tuck things in as we go. So we've got that one. I'm putting my yellow ones first. And you also have to think about it not going too much over the edge. So I know that this piece is the whole width of the card. So for this one, I do want to slide it down a little bit so that it's not going to hang out over the edge of the card. And I have this nice white one that I'm going to put in between. That's a bit too much glue, but... This will be better actually, because it'll hide the center, hide the edges. So you just want to go back in and make sure that you can't see any of the edges. Just tuck them in and then see where you have gaps. I'm going to need something there. So I'll just put a little bit of glue. And something right there. I think I like this one better. And then something over here. Just trying to slide that down a little bit more. Oh my gosh, I totally lost. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna put this one here. So now I'm gonna layer this whole piece you could also use glue dots might be a little less messy so this one does go right to the edge and you can see how in this one corner I should have pushed it up a little bit more but I'm not going to get overly fussy and we're going to add this piece. Oh, I did have one little vellum one there. So it kind of looks pretty with all the three layers. Those will just go on my pile. You make me smile. And then I'm going to add a couple of gems. These aren't lemon law. I don't think they're, are they lemon lolly? No, they're not. But I think they will do perfectly. They're a little bit darker. They're actually one of the new in colors, the wheat. I don't think it's wild wheat, but it's something wheat. All right, you make me smile. So there's the first card. Simple, simple design. And I think it's really pretty. All right, so let's put that aside. And we'll bring in all the materials that we need for our next card. These are the measurements. I often put a little sticky on the back of my card so that I can remember. 
So for this one, I am using this beautiful vellum paper. I thought it would make a really pretty layer, but I'm gonna have to be careful how I place it. Because it is vellum, you'll be able to see the glue through it, but I have a plan. So this is gonna be our base. So our base is not a full card, it's just um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So not the full, it doesn't open up. You could, but I don't know why you'd want to. Then this piece is five and three quarters by five and a quarter. Now I will tell you the first one I did, I scored it too much and it ripped. So it's scored at one and three quarters. So this little flap is one and three quarters, but make sure that you score it very gently. And then I did use my bone folder and give it a nice crease. Then we have a piece that is, I have so many layers here. Six by four, scored at three. And so then you have a three by four inch little piece. So this is gonna go in here. And I need to do up this first because that'll show me where I can put the glue on the back to, um, so you won't see through to the vellum. I also cut, and it, this is unnecessary, but I thought it would be pretty from the scalloped contours, this little piece to put inside, whoopsie. I just thought it looked pretty. You could also put a little flower or something in there if you wanted to. So that's gonna go in here. And then for the front, originally I wanted to put this piece. This is the new um, basics embossing folders. So I cut it just an eighth of an inch down, but I didn't think it was pretty enough. So I opted for this die, which matches the paper beautifully. Now it does curl a bit when you die cut it, so and the glue does go through. I should, probably should have used snail. But I think it'll be fine. So it's got a very tiny border. So we want to make sure that we don't, or that it's even all the way around. All right. Then I have from the Timeless Arrangements dies, and then the Best Wishes from the Artistically Inked. That's going to go on the front, but I'm also going to put these two. So these are designed to go along with these little um, sentiment uh, rectangles. So that one fits perfectly. You can see how it sticks out the edge. But then I want to add another one with the vellum to offset it. So this one is behind. I'm going to cut it off because I might use it for something. So we'll just put that there. And let's go ahead and put, my fingers are getting all gluey. We'll go and put that right into the corner. It's really cool how they've designed these so that you it makes it so easy to layer everything up. And now I'm going to put the vellum one. And I know I'm going to have to trim some off, but I'll wait and put it on to see how much I'm going to have to trim. And you can also make it so that this one goes in front. And then we'll just give this a little trim. And we'll pop this up with dimensionals and that'll be the front. And if you put your dimensionals over top of where you've got your edges there, that'll ensure that they stay nice and in the right spot. So we'll just peel these. Now remembering this is not the whole card, so I am going to put it in the middle. You could put it, no, I want it in the middle. All right, 
So we have our little front flap ready and done. Oh, I was going to tuck this just under there. And I'm going to do it with a glue dot so I don't make a mess. I'm going to actually roll the glue dot, put it right at the edge, and then tuck that under. There. Just that one little piece at the edge. You could add some silver um, embellishments if you want, but this card's going to be fancy enough, I think. So now we have our second layer, and I'm also going to put stuff along here. I think I'm going to grab my mat because I don't want to get glue all over. Now, I did start by tucking it underneath. That was way too hard to get it where the way I wanted it. So I'm going to glue on the top. And I did have an arranged way to do it, but I don't know what it... So, as you remember, this is going to go off the card, so I'm going to tuck that down. Let's just put one little strip of glue. And I have something I'm going to put in place so that these don't show. Although they will show at the back when you open the vellum, but I think that'll be okay. And let's put another white one here. And then we have some vellum ones. That's pretty, but it's the same as that one. I don't know if you notice that, but that would bug me. Okay, I like that there. This may be too much for this card. I'm not sure. Oh, that can't go there. Hmm. This is going to get hidden. And what I end up doing is cutting these into little pieces. I'm going to use some glue dots for these. That is pretty vellum. It's the pack that has the stripes, the leaves, and stripes, leaves, and florals. So I'm just adding glue dots to these to make it go quicker and filling in wherever I see a little hole. It's actually in the catalog after the regular, after the designer series paper. There's a little spot. So I'm just gonna cut off one of these. Glue dots are a lot less messy. All right, I'm just gonna lift it up and see if I like it. Okay, so you can see how this one kind of gets lost. It needs something white behind it, maybe. I'm just going to leave it. It's going to get too messy. So now I took the, from the scalloped contours. First time I did it too short because it has to, it has to cover all of this. So I'm going to add it on top and I want it so that I have this nice edge at the top. The contours never fit exactly, but I want the top one to be really nice. So you can see how I'm going to be able to see that, so I'm just going to go and snip that off. So just lay it down, see how it's looking. This one is moving on me. But I think once I get this on, it's going to be good. I'm going to try using Stamp and Seal. I haven't used this in a while. Okay. 
I want to get right to the edge, although I know I'm going to be trimming some off. So let's just try again, making sure that we have everything covered, which is the whole point of this extra piece. You can see that one's sticking out again. And then when I get to the bottom, I'll just take my snips and glue that. All right, that's pretty. So this is gonna be our bottom. I sure hope this idea works. I haven't even actually made one. It's just one of those in my head things. So that's gonna go like that, like that. And this is gonna get glued on here. So the reason I haven't glued this on yet is I want to know where I can glue it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the inside piece. I may have made this way more complicated than it needed to be. I just really like that fun fold and I thought this would be a really pretty wedding card or anniversary card. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. I'm being careful with this because I don't want to wreck my vellum. And I want this to be centered. More or less. All right. I already see a potential flaw. Okay, I can see it's not quite straight, but it's good enough. I don't think when you give someone a handmade card, they're going to sit there and critique it if it isn't perfectly straight. Okay, so there's our base back. So you can see how I put um, glue just where this is, where the card is, so that you're not going to see it on the other side. So let's just go and put this on. So there we have best wishes and I can see how this is going to fold, it's going to fold a little bit, but I think that's okay. So you open up that. You could cut these off and trim it, but I think it's fine. Then when you open it this way, you've got this beautiful, whoops, sorry. So it opens like this, like this, and like this. Need my glue eraser. There we go. I think that's very pretty. It needs pearls, so hang tight. That's the paper. It's called Vellum Basics. So let me find just plain old pearls. Basic pearls. There we go. I think that's all it needs. It's just basic pearls. So this paper is Vellum Basics 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series paper. So you have the um, leaves like I did. You have the polka dots, and then you have this one which is stripes. It's a wonderful pack of paper. Okay, so let's use some pearls. I think that's all it needs is a couple of pearls. It actually probably doesn't need anything. There's a lot going on in this card, but in a good way, I think. Let's take this one up here and maybe one down here. All right, so those are our cards for today featuring the timeless arrangements, timeless arrangements, die and stamp set. And here you can see some of the images that you can stamp and there's coordinating dies. Here's this one. And then I use the flower 
I don't think I use this one. Anyways, very versatile set. And one that you want to have in your stash for sure. And you can see the difference between here's the fun fold I did with the fish and the truck, and here it is as a anniversary or wedding card. So same fun fold, just folds open like that, but definitely looks different with all this beautiness. And you can see this through the back, but I don't think it, I don't think it takes away from it at all. You could also take Wink of Stella and add some to some of the branches, but I honestly think there's enough going on right now in this card. So here's that one and that one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you will know the next time I go live. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you get inspired to crack open this set if you already have it. And if you don't have it, it's definitely one that you'll want to have in your craft room. So one if you watch my videos, you know I love doing monochromatic cards. So this one is all white and vellum. And with just a pop of silver for the sentiment. And this one is lemon lolly and white. All right, have a great weekend, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks, everyone.